Azure Bastion is a fully managed platform as a service which you can provision inside your virtual network. It provides security and seamless RDP or SSH connectivity to your VMs directly in Azure portal over SSL. With Azure Bastion, your virtual machines do not need a public IP address. In this video, we will be covering what is Azure Bastion, its architecture, its features, and creating an Azure Bastion host. In the end, we will also share details about our free Azure Solution Architect Masterclass, which will not only help you understand basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning path to follow. It would be helpful, especially when you're preparing for Azure Solution Architect certification, which requires you to clear two exams that are Microsoft Azure Architect Technologies AZ303 and Microsoft Azure Architect Design, that's AZ304. For the certification exam, you should have an understanding of Azure Bastion. Welcome to another episode of Azure video series from K21 Academy, where we take you from complete beginner, covering configuring infrastructure, authentication and securing data solution for the cloud and Azure storage, to all the way identity and security, business continuity strategy, deployment, migration, integration, and infrastructure strategy, including how to prepare for the AZ303 and 304 certification exam. We have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on Microsoft Azure Architect Technologies, that's AZ303. And in this clip, our instructor will talk about Azure Bastion. So, this is a clip taken from a module on implementing load balancing and network security. Now let's hear from an expert trainer on the same. Azure Bastion, this is a new service. Actually, we have seen how Bastion works, but in a different way. But there is a managed service for that. We'll see how that works. So Bastion is a fully platform managed PaaS service that provision inside your virtual network. It provides secure and seamless RDP or SSH connectivity to your virtual machines directly in the portal or TLS. When you connect using Azure Bastion, your virtual machines do not need a public IP address. Bastion provides a secure RDP and SSH connectivity to all the VMs in the virtual network in which it is provisioned. Each using Azure Bastion, um, you can protect your virtual machines from exposing the RDP or SSH ports to the outside world while you can still access using Bastion. With Azure Bastion, you can connect to the virtual machines directly from Azure portal. Alright, uh, so this is how the architecture looks like. We have done a similar thing. We have used the Gembox VM when we were discussing about load balancer where all our VM, VMs had only private IP address. So what we did was we created a Gembox VM that has a public IP. We access that Gembox VM from that we access the VMs which are deployed in the subnet. So Bastion works pretty much similar to that. The only difference is you can actually do the RDP or SSH from the portal itself. So Azure Bastion deployment is per virtual network, not per subscription, not per account or per virtual machine. Once you provision Bastion service in your virtual network, the RDP or SSH experience is available to all the VMs in the same virtual network. Exposing RDP and SSH ports over to the internet isn't desired and is often considered as a significant threat. This is often due to the protocol vulnerabilities. Uh, to contain this threat surface, you can deploy Bastion host, also known as GEM servers, at the public side of the perimeter network. Bastion host servers are designed and configured to withstand attacks. Bastion servers also provide RDP and SSH connectivity to the workloads sitting behind the Bastion, as well as uh, further inside the network. So this is a complete architecture of um, Azure Bastion deployment. The Bastion is deployed in the virtual network as we discussed. The user connects to Azure portal uh, with the HTML5 browser and the user selects the virtual machines that he or she wants to connect to. With a single click, the RDP or SSH session opens in your browser. So no public IP is required for your Azure VM. All right, so some of the key features that we want to talk about Azure Bastion is uh, RDP and SSH directly in Azure portal. So we, we actually spoke about it at least five times right now. 
then a remote session or TLS and firewall uh, for RDP and SSH. So Azure Bastion uses HTML5 based web client that is automatically streamed to your local device so that you get your RDP or SSH session or TLS on 443 uh, that enable you to trans tra traverse your corporate firewall securely. So no public IP is required for your VM. We already discussed about that. Uh, no hassle of managing NSDs, right? Let's say you have uh, 20, 25 VMs and uh, each of them are working with different ports. One is in 22, one is in 3389, another is a web server, so 80. So you need to manage all of this. So you know, you have to either create a subnet tool, uh, subnet NSD that is going to be a little hard. Let's say you have 10 subnets then you have to create 10 NSDs. Uh, 100 VMs is like 100 NICs, that much of NSD. So uh, it just avoids that. And if you deploy a Bastion host in the virtual network, it can be used to access any VM in that virtual network. It also protect, uh, gives protection against um, port scanning because you don't need to expose your um, virtual machines to the public internet, right? So your VMs are protected against port scanning by ROG and malicious users located outside your virtual network. So if you deploy a Linux VM, keep it running for a day. By by the end of the next day, you'll see that there are a lot of people trying to hack your VM, uh, do port scanning, they will use uh, regular keywords as usernames like admin, web admin, things like that, and they'll try to get into your VM. Then protection against uh, zero day exploits. So hardening uh, in only one place. So we just have to harden our bastion host. Everything else is behind the bastion host. We don't have to worry about it. And it's a fully platform service, right? So uh, everything, the updates, patching is managed by Microsoft. All right. Uh, so I think we have a demonstration on Azure Bastion. So what we will do is uh, we will create a bastion host in the load balancer vnet that we created because the VMs that we have there doesn't have any uh, public IP address. So I'm going to reuse those VMs and uh, get this done. Okay, let me just confirm where exactly you have the VMs deployed. So let's see. Okay, so VM2 and VM1 are the ones which doesn't have a public IP attached to the it has a public IP. That's strange. Okay, this one doesn't have a public IP address. This one has a public IP address. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so what we will do is uh, we will shut down this VM. And uh, for us, we will create two VMs. I think that is the easiest method. It is time for a change. What we will do is we will uh, we will create Linux VM. So far, we were only creating Windows VM. So let's go with Linux. Okay, so we're gonna deploy our Linux VM. Um, I'm gonna create a new resource group, Bastion RG. CP or Linux VM. US, yeah, that's fine for now. Uh, yeah, group password. I'm gonna select disk as standard HDD networking. So, for networking, uh, we need uh, a dedicated subnet. For Bastion, that's a slash 27 subnet with the name Azure Bastion subnet. So we're gonna configure that in a proper way. So I'm gonna expand this address space. Okay, so this is our VM subnet that we're gonna use for our VMs. Um, the address range is 192.168.1.0. And we're gonna have a Bastion subnet. The name for a Bastion subnet should be Azure uh, Bastion subnet. 
168.0.0.0.27. All right, looks good. I'll just click on save. I don't need a public IP address because we are using Bastion. Public inbound ports, none. Preview and create. Perfect. Uh, it's creating right now. Let me go back to virtual machines again. I'll add a Windows virtual machine browser right now so that we can experience both the RDP as well as the SSH from Azure Bastion. So I'll add a new virtual machine here. Let's choose the Bastion RG and uh, the virtual machine name is uh, Windows VM. This US is fine. Uh, Windows 2019 Data Center. I hope I have code out there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's not matching. Perfect. This will switch to HDD networking. So we need the VM subnet. That's right. I don't need a public IP. I don't want any ports to be open to the public internet. Preview and create. Perfect. So while it is creating, let me just go ahead and create a bastion host. Create bastion. So the switch to will be Bastion RG. The name will be Bastion Host. East GS is fine. The virtual network is going to be this one. So it automatically loaded uh, the the subnet. If you look at that and uh, public IP address, I'll create a new one. That's fine. Preview and create. So this is going to take some time, so I'm just going to pause the recording and come back once it is done. And we still have the Windows machine to be deployed. So let me complete both of this and come back. So we have uh, the Windows VM deployed. We are still waiting for the Bastion host to be deployed. All right, so the deployment is complete. Uh, let's go to the resource and go to sessions. So as of now, we don't have any sessions here. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, click on review. Let's go to the virtual machines. Uh, let me pick the Linux VM. And let me type Bastion. Right, so I just have to pass in my username and password. It is trying to connect right now. Could be an issue with the pop up, so I'll just uncheck that and connect. Yeah, so it was an issue with the browser. So let's see if we are able to SSH to that particular virtual machine. Mm -hmm. Something went wrong. Okay, I'm just going to refresh this and make sure I'm connected to the internet. I am connected. That's, that's good. So I'm going to try to connect. All right, so I just figured out that there was some issue with my internet. So I'm just going to reconnect to this VM again. Okay, so that's a good sign. All right, so I logged in to the Linux VM using SSH. Let's make sure that I can get several privileges. Awesome. That's the Linux VM. So if I go back to virtual machines, if I select the Windows VM, uh, it, there are two ways you can connect. You don't have to search for Bastion. You can simply click on connect and you can click on Bastion. That will also work. So let 
and try if this one is working. Okay, so I can SSH to the VM right now. So this is how Bastion works. I don't need a public IP address uh, to access my VM. So that was a clip taken from one of the modules of our step-by-step -step training program on Azure Solution Architect certification, including exams AZ-303 and AZ-304. I would like to invite you for a free masterclass on how to kickstart your journey as Azure Solution Architect, right from learning basics like implementing storage account virtual networking and getting certified by using our step-by-step 12 weeks roadmap to go from complete beginner to a certified Azure Solution Architect. If you are interested, register for our free class by going on to k21academy.com slash is it 30302. I highly recommend you to go through this free class to see what to expect in the exam, learn basics about Azure Solution Architect certification and to get a demo on deploying Azure Container Instance. So please visit k21academy.com slash is it 30302. Please click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our future videos. I will see you in another episode of Azure video series from K21 Academy. Till then, take care.